Have you ever looked at a flight map and noticed this massive empty space right over Asia? It's a huge area, more than five times the size of France, and if you pull up a live flight radar, it's just a big blank spot. No planes, nothing. So, what is this mysterious no-fly zone? Well, this is the Tibetan Plateau, and there are some really fascinating reasons why pilots almost always avoid it. Let's break it down. The first and biggest reason is the altitude. The Tibetan Plateau is known as the roof of the world for a good reason. It has an average elevation of about 14,800 feet. To put that in perspective, that's like living on top of some of the highest mountains in the United States. Commercial jets cruise at around 33,000 feet, which seems high enough, right? But here's the problem. In an emergency, like if the cabin loses pressure, pilots need to make a rapid descent to about 10,000 feet. At that altitude, the air is thick enough for passengers to breathe without oxygen masks. But over Tibet, descending to 10,000 feet is physically impossible because the ground is already thousands of feet higher than that. The plateau is also surrounded by the world's tallest mountain ranges, including the Himalayas with Mount Everest. It's a high-altitude trap with no safe way down. The second reason is the wild and unpredictable weather. The air currents over these massive mountains create some of the most severe turbulence you can imagine. We're talking about jet streams that can whip up violent updrafts and downdrafts without any warning. Navigating through that is incredibly challenging and dangerous, even for the most experienced pilots. The weather can change in an instant, turning a smooth flight into a nightmare. It's just not a risk airlines are willing to take. And finally, there's the issue of infrastructure, or rather, the lack of it. In this vast, sprawling region, there are only a handful of airports. Think about it. If a plane runs into trouble, whether it's a mechanical failure or a medical emergency, it needs to land as soon as possible. But over the Tibetan Plateau, the nearest suitable airport could be hundreds, if not thousands, of miles away. There are simply no viable options for an emergency diversion. So, when you combine the extreme altitude, the treacherous weather, and the scarcity of airports, it becomes clear why this part of the world remains a massive, empty void on our flight maps. It's one of the last truly untouched skies on our planet. Thanks for watching! If you found this interesting, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more amazing facts about our world. See you next time.